Sisters and brothers, it's my honor to be here, and I am so in awe of these sisters that are on the stage with us, that have put their lives on the line day in and day out. And I have just a few quick things to say. I, I am a historian by training. My undergraduate and graduate degrees are in history. It's hard to know a moment in history when you're living in it, but we are living in a historic moment not only because of this awful genocide, but we're living in a historic moment where young people in Gaza, in the West Bank, at NYU, at Columbia, and on college campuses all over the world have in a lot of ways resurrected the energy that a lot of people thought was dying. And as that energy went down, young people said no. And I want to say something about these young people to all of you. Uh, I'm really a student of the civil rights movement. And there is no civil rights movement in the United States without women. And there is no civil rights movement in the United States without young people. And so the power to see these sisters here and all over the country and around the world, it means something. And one of the sisters said something that touched my heart. Young men and women all over Gaza, in the West Bank and in Yemen, saw them and honored them and said how much they enjoyed. They even offered them scholarships to go and, ha and go to school in Yemen or anywhere else because they saw the power of them standing up. And for all the young people that are here, often you will hear people my age and older, young people, students, they will say that you are the next generation of leaders. And they mean that well, but I reject that. You are the leaders that we need right here, right now. You aren't the leaders of tomorrow. You are the leaders of today. And these sisters prove that point. So young people, I, I need you to understand, even if you're in elementary school, middle school, high school, college, this moment that we're in requires of you the same thing that it required of these sisters who just told you they had no idea the impact that their actions would take. But you see the impact. Their impact will be in history books generations from now. So I encourage you, all of you who are students, make noise in your school, in your community, in your neighborhood, in your city. See that your city divests from weapons manufacturers, from investing in this genocide. See that your college, that your university does that and follow their example. One last thing, we need to make sure that we understand that we are at a tipping point right here, right now, where the whole world is seeing Gaza, is seeing Palestine in a way they've never seen it, and now is not the time to let up. And so I beg of you, with every fiber in my being, Follow their lead in every way you can, and let's continue to say, free, free Palestine. 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 Assalamu alaikum, sisters and brothers.